Welcome back to Auto Pulse, the ultimate destination for all things speed, power, and cutting edge technology. If you love the roar of jet engines and the thrill of modern engineering, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving deep into one of Europe's most advanced fighter jets, the Eurofighter Typhoon in 2025. Buckle up, because this bird is built for speed, stealth, and serious sky domination. The Eurofighter Typhoon isn't just another fighter jet, it's a symbol of European collaboration and military excellence. Originally developed in the 1990s by a consortium of four nations, the UK, Germany, Italy, and Spain, the Typhoon has evolved into a multi-role, next-gen aircraft that continues to dominate the skies in 2025. And trust me, it's not slowing down anytime soon. So, what makes the 2025 Eurofighter Typhoon stand out in a world filled with 5th and 6th generation jets? Let's break it down. First, let's talk about performance. The Typhoon is powered by two Eurojet EJ200 turbofan engines, each producing over 20,000 pounds of thrust. That means this aircraft can hit a top speed of Mach 2, that's over 1,500 miles per hour, and still maintain the agility of a lightweight jet. With its delta wing and canard design, the Typhoon is incredibly maneuverable, making it a nightmare for enemy aircraft in dogfights. But speed and agility are just part of the story. The 2025 version of the Eurofighter has seen major upgrades in avionics, radar systems, and weapons integration. One of the most significant updates is the new Captur ESA radar. This active electronically scanned array radar allows the Typhoon to detect and track multiple targets at longer ranges with greater accuracy and resistance to jamming. It's like having eyes in the back of your head, and then some. The Typhoon has also embraced the digital battlefield. In 2025, it comes equipped with a new Defensive Aid Subsystem, or DAS, which offers 360-degree protection against radar-guided and infrared threats. Think of it as a digital shield, constantly scanning and protecting the aircraft from incoming danger. It can deploy countermeasures, jam enemy signals, and warn the pilot in real time keeping the jet one step ahead of any threat. When it comes to weapons, the Typhoon is a true multi-role platform. Whether it's air superiority, ground attack, or reconnaissance, it's ready to do the job. It can carry up to 14 weapons stations, packing a mix of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles, precision-guided bombs, and even long-range cruise missiles. In 2025, we're seeing integration with newer weapons like the Meteor Beyond Visual Range Missile and the Spear 3 Air-to-Surface Missile, giving the Typhoon serious firepower at standoff ranges. What's even more impressive is how the Typhoon is adapting to modern warfare. With the rise of drone swarms, cyber warfare, and electronic attack, traditional dogfighting isn't the only battlefield anymore. The 2025 Typhoon is being upgraded to work alongside unmanned systems, sharing data in real-time through advanced data links. It's part of a network-centric approach to warfare, where information and coordination are just as important as raw firepower. Let's not forget the cockpit, the pilot's office in the sky. The 2025 Eurofighter now features a wide-area display system, giving pilots a more intuitive interface with real-time tactical awareness. Coupled with voice commands, hands-on throttle and stick controls, and helmet-mounted displays, pilots can make faster decisions with less effort, which is crucial in high-stress combat situations. In terms of survivability, the Typhoon continues to be a hard target. While not a true stealth aircraft like the F-35, its reduced radar cross-section, agile design, and powerful electronic countermeasures make it extremely difficult to lock onto. And with ongoing stealth enhancements in 2025, like radar absorbent materials and low observable coatings, it's only getting sneakier. Now here's something that's often overlooked, the Typhoon's adaptability. Unlike many aircraft that age out quickly, the Typhoon is constantly evolving. The nations behind it are committed to upgrading it well into the 2030s and even 2040s. Programs like the Long-Term Evolution LTE project are ensuring that the Typhoon stays relevant with software upgrades, new sensors, and better integration with future systems like the next Genfka's future combat air system. And let's talk global reach. The Typhoon isn't just a European bird. It's operated by air forces in the UK, Germany, Italy, Spain, Austria, Saudi Arabia, Oman, Qatar, and Kuwait, and interest is still growing. That global footprint means upgrades are driven by real-world combat feedback seed, 